Meanwhile, defense attorneys asked some very hard questions to the woman who claims that a former Colts player sexually assaulted her. Attorneys for Josh McNary hammered her about her version of what happened inside of his downtown apartment last December. Eyewitness News crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson is covering the trial and he joins us now from the city county building with a look at today's testimony. Steve? John and Andrea, John McNary's defense team started day two of his rape trial assassinating the alleged victim's character. She says it was rape. McNary says it was consensual. Former Colts player Josh McNary seemingly stayed focused, surrounded by news cameras outside the courtroom where he's fighting rape charges. Day two of his trial started with defense attorney saying his accuser got it all wrong. In court, she took the witness stand under cross-examination, being hammered with question after question about her version about the night they met. On December 1st, 2014, McNary and the woman spent part of the night dancing, drinking, and kissing at the downtown bar called Tiki Bob's. McNary reportedly invited her to his nearby apartment after closing. That's when she says eventually he forced her to have sex against her will. In court, the jury, made up of mostly women, watched videos from security cameras that captured the two entering McNary's apartment building. They heard from a lineup of witnesses, including crime scene investigators, who confiscated her clothing and blood-stained sheets from the apartment. McNary, whose contract with the Colts expired as he waited for this trial to start, insists the woman consented to having sex with him. It's something prosecutors will not only have to prove otherwise, but also convince a jury of the same. Once the prosecution wraps up their case, Josh McNary's defense team will be in charge. They have a list of witnesses for the jury to hear as well. This case could be in the hands of the jury by the end of the week.